Hi, my name is Brenda Turberg Folly, and I work here at Bronson Hospital as a bereavement coordinator. And one of the really important things we do for anyone who has had a miscarriage or the death of a child, a very young infant is, and even our pediatric infants, the death of a child, is to give them a special container to put any memory items they might have in um, what we call a memory box. I reached out to a local group here in the Kalamazoo, Southwest Michigan area, and were able to get some local artists to donate memory boxes. In these memory boxes, families will put um, whatever memories they have from here at the hospital, but some of the things that we give them too, like a golden ring, a lock of hair, just some memories that um, give them that ability to open this box at any time and to be with that memory of that child again. So it's so important. I'm here with Penny from Friends in Art and she'll talk a little bit about their group and why they think this is important to support this project. Our group has been active here in Kalamazoo for um, going on 30 years now. We have been giving or doing something philanthropic for every year. These people have nothing except a plastic bag to put their things in as a rule. And so once, at least once a year, we have a meeting where that's all we do is paint memory boxes. So we think it's a very worthwhile cause. So Penny, tell me what goes into making these beautiful memory boxes. There's a process with these that is really more involved than people realize because they're, they are paper mache. So they have to be sealed before we can paint a base coat on. A pattern has to be put on and then we paint and then they're also varnished at the end. So they should hold up quite well. So Penny, is this just for professional painters or can anybody get involved with Friends in Art and making these memory boxes? We don't cater to um, advanced painters by any means. We're what we welcome brand new painters, anybody who would like to get involved. It's, it's, we do what's called decorative painting, and it's something that anyone can learn how to do. How can someone get in touch with you, get involved, um, donate possibly to this cause? How do they reach you if they want to get in touch with you? My phone number is 269-345-7474.